And now for our first trip abroad. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Tonight in Paris, the Oscar winner for her compelling performance in Room at the Top is starring in the French version of The Little Foxes. So from the stage of the Sarah Bernhardt Theater, here is Miss Simone Signore. Film editing is the next craft to receive an award. As you know, the writer gets an idea. That's the beginning. But who is, on the other hand, after the, the story has been put on film, on, on hundreds of, uh, of pieces of film that must move so smoothly and excitingly that uh, you are seldom aware of a change? The film editor. Long after the actors, the writers, the cameramen, and all the technicians have completed the shooting, the film editor's job continues through the dubbing, the scoring, and the first preview. Then the director and producer decide whether or not the film editor's work is finished. If not, it continues until the final print is ready for release. And every inch of that film has gone through his skillful hands. The award will be presented by a versatile actor who won his, his Oscar for his performance in The Streetcar Named Desire. Here is a method actor who can do more than scratch, Mr. Carl Malden. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, no, I'm not acting. I, I itch. Now, the nominees for film editing are Anne Coates for Lawrence of Arabia, Samuel E. Beatley for The Longest Day, Ferris Webster for The Manchurian Candidate, William Ziegler for Meredith Wilson's The Music Man, John McSweeney, Jr. for Mutiny on the Bounty. Mr. Miller, thank you. Ann Coates for Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> Accepting on behalf of Ann Coates, Mr. Robert Stack. The task of putting together a motion picture the size of Lawrence of Arabia must be a monumental one. Well, Ann Coates put it together. The tune of ten nominations to awards so far in the night is young. I know how much she wishes she could be here to thank you in person. Thank you.